Hi, my name's Roman, uh, and your name? Andy. Andy, Andy, what can you tell me about this canoe? <clears throat> this was a uh, Chippewa, uh, which was a tribe of natives in northern Michigan, southern uh, Canada, and they've been building these canoes since the white man first had contact in the uh, 16, 1700s. And it's made of birch bark on the outside, and the, uh, the birch tree is uh, normally white, but when they um, cut the birch bark off of the tree, it rolls inside out. So okay. the outside of the canoe is really the inside, inside. of the bark. Okay. And the inside of the canoe is made of um, a tree called a white cedar. All, that, all of this is from, again, north and they split the uh, cedar boards and then they put them in hot water and bend them to make the ribs mm -hmm. and then they tie the whole thing together with the root out of a tree called a black spruce really okay and they they dig the root up and then they split it and they soak that to make it pliable so they can sew the sides together And then what on the outside, where you see black lines, uh -huh. that's where two pieces of bark are coming together. And they take uh, the sap out of a pine tree and mix it with charcoal out of their fire. And they make a, a pitch or a tar, and that's what they treat the seams with. I see. And who in particular made this uh, canoe here? Well, this was made in Wisconsin. I don't know the gentleman that made it. Okay. Um, uh, but it was it was made up in Wisconsin. Hmm. Made the same way as I said a minute ago. The same way they were making them hundreds of years ago. Same techniques. It's definitely got a lot of uh, class to it. Uh, definitely, there's history right there. You know. Yeah. That, that's a sure. dying art. Yes. How many sure. can make it nowadays? Oh, yeah. Are there any? Yeah, Th there's there still, are. Yeah, there's still people making them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow. The hundreds yeah. and hundreds of hours it took, I'm sure. Wow. Well, when I retired, my wife got me a present to go live on a Chippewa village. Okay. In northern Wisconsin, right on Superior, and to gather to gather the um, materials and to build it would have taken me three months. <laughs> So I didn't, I didn't choose to spend that much time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they're still building them. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you. You have a good one. Thanks for your service.